Hello everyone and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video. Today we are going to be unlocking the brand new 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. It is the new seasonal car for update 32 in the summer and I'm going to show you right now exactly how to unlock it and what car I'll be using. If you couldn't already tell, this is the car I'll be using. But anyway, let's get into it. So on the festival playlist, you wanna go all the way across and you wanna to go to this event right here, which will take you up to Edinburgh. You wanna fast travel to it. Your car restrictions are S1 at 900, which is the exact restriction to my current vehicle. So to unlock the car, you need to place first against highly skilled driver tars in three events throughout the championship. So make sure you win all of them. It's, it's a very easy thing to do. So don't worry too much if you've got different assists and stuff, just make sure your driver tars are on this difficulty and that you win the races. Right, so the three races, so you've got one in Edinburgh, you have one at the bottom of the Lakehurst Forest, and then you have the last one, all which is at at the festival there we go so this will be the last event i'll be doing and the car i'll be using is the 2018 ford mustang gt i've actually done a very simple tune to it myself so if you want to get this car if you don't already have it you can pick it up very cheap probably from the auto show or the auction house and then the tune for it will pop up on screen right now so pop this in and you'll be able to get it to s1 rating 900 and it should be perfect for the championship anyway i shall be back in about 10 minutes once i unlock the car so whilst i'm on the last event now to get the car just so i'll quickly chime in and say that anyone that isn't subscribed to the channel currently and uh, you enjoy this kind of content i'd really appreciate it if you considered subscribing it's completely free and it really helps me grow the channel and get a new wider audience if not if you could drop a like at least down below that would be great helps with the algorithm and push a video out there um so yeah thank you very very much there we go first place took just under 10 minutes to get the car which is lovely jubbly and i'm about to sneeze uh no i'm not and there we go the ford gt 500 is unlocked and here we go here is the brand new car it is very nice i am more of a jdm kind of car myself but i do like a good mustang when i see one or just a muscle car in general and this is definitely one of them. So yeah, if you guys do want to unlock it, make sure you do the championship. It literally takes like 10 minutes. It's really easy. Without further ado, we are going to jump into a stock race with this thing as it's got, what, 760 brake horsepower off the bat. So yeah, we're going to see what it can do. And then you already know, we're going to take it, do some upgrades to it and have some fun. Potentially take it drifting as well. Whew, okay. <laughs> Bit of a wheel spin. Oh man, it pops. You love to see it. Okay, this is this is already this is already good for me, boys. If I see something like that, I'm sold, you know. Um so yeah, stock compared to these cars, I don't know what difficulty I actually have the AI on. It's it's gradually keeping up, but I'm sure once we get to a straight, it should hopefully unleash more of that horse. Oh man, it looks stunning as well. So I have actually picked up a Series X if you can already tell. Um, but yeah, the, the game does look phenomenal now. But we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about the Mustang. And yeah, it seems, oh, sorry mate. It seems pretty decent as a stock car, like a lot of them do to be fair, just as stock, they're fine. Um, sound wise, it just sounds like any other Mustang. Obviously that's just down to the um, sound issues within Horizon 4. Hopefully one day we'll get the uh, same sounds as Horizon 2 and 3. That That is the dream. Oh my god, okay. Uh, what? <laughs> of all the places for me to hit, I literally hit that perfectly. As expected from a muscle car, the handling isn't the best, which is fine. Oh my god. There we go. And it, yeah, it, it pops a lot. <laughs> It does pop a lot. So yeah, as a stock car, it ain't too bad, but I'm not gonna lie, I'd probably never use it as a stock car. <laughs> it's not something you do. So let's take it over to the Horizon Festival and see what kind of upgrades we can do for it. Right, what kind of stuff we got? So I'm gonna go with all of the usual bits, to be honest. So we can obviously change the spoiler or we can just take it off. Okay, um, I'll probably keep it on to be honest. It looks quite nice. For a start, we're gonna make it all wheel drive. We can put one engine swap in it, 8.4 litre V10. Mm, I'll keep it like this for now. And I will put the twin turbo. It's gotta be done. Takes up to 935. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna fully, fully upgrade this thing. Probably to what, like the end of S2. 
and I shall be back. All right, so the upgrades are done. Uh, so it is very basic. Again, all I've done is just altered the top speed and just put the max upgrades into it, really. Um, and as expected, <laughs> it is very quick off the line. Not as fast as a Corvette, it doesn't feel like, though. Um, I think about the top speed's about 240. So it may be very interesting for online racing, for instance, or just in general, as I almost go off. But anyway, let's um, test its top speed, I guess. So as stock, I'm hoping it can get to 200. It should be able to, right? Come on. Yeah, no, it's fine. It'll get to 200. I feel like it could go a lot quicker. Again, I only started from the actual line. I didn't give it a bit of a run up. So what, 210, maybe even pushing it, 215. 209. I'd probably say I can get to 210 with a proper run up. So yeah, stock about 210 miles an hour and we'll have a look what it can do with a few upgrades under the hood so it should get to about 240 potentially 250 as a top speed and this is just a stock engine weirdly enough the engine swap doesn't actually get it to uh 240 i believe it gets about 230 so let's have a look come on keep climbing i think it's going to top out about yeah 242 243 maybe yeah, 243. Okay. Again, this is just sort of a stock tune. This isn't with anything anything special. Uh, so, yeah, 243 is the top speed. So, it's not insanely quick, but it's not awful at the same time. Let's see what this thing's like for upgraded racing. Should be relatively good. I mean, it's already, already off the line. See you later, my dudes. So, yeah, this is as, as high of a um, PI rating as I could possibly get it. Uh, with a stock engine and as you can see it just absolutely flies so <laughs> it's not bad at all the handling's actually a lot better as well before it was awful i i could not turn this thing at all okay so it's absolutely left him in the dust <laughs> this is going to be a very good car to use for races so hopefully i hopefully i'll use it again in the future i don't know but it, it seems decent. What am I going to get? Go on. Ah, oh, lovely. Two grand. You'd love to see it. So I thought I'd take the Mustang over to the Needle Climb on Fortune Island. This is the current tune I'm using. Uh, for some reason, I can't bring up the share code. But yeah, if you just search this, if you want to use it, I have no idea if it's good or not. I'm, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but we're going to find out anyway, if it's decent. Again, um, it's only been out for what? Half an hour and i have no idea really if anyone's actually made any tunes or anything yet so if you give it some time and you want to tune it yourself or download one that'll be your best bet um i can't remember what i got last time i think i used the corvette down here if i remember correctly and i'd assume i probably got about 400,000 points maybe 450 i'll have to see if i can find it um but for a first run it seems okay um it does accelerate a lot. I'm literally like tapping it with all my might. I'm trying not to go too quick. So it should be okay. If I can beat the Corvette, whatever I got with that, that would be ideal. Because I know the uh, RTR Mustang is very good uh, when it comes to drifting. Obviously, I know it's a bit different to the Shelby GT500, but still, still the same case, I guess. Oh man, I took that corner so bad. That was awful. That was actually awful. Oh man. Come on. Going way too wide on that one as well. This is stuff a lot of people don't show you. It's when they just completely go off course. <laughs> it happens too often. Like if I ever do like a proper, like, I don't know, drift video, or if I ever do like a top 1000 or something, I will only show you the good parts of it. I, you know, I'll, I'll include a couple of bits where I mess up, but it happens too often when you do stuff like this. Like 424,000, I don't think that was as good as what I got with the Corvette. I, I have no idea. I might give it another run and see if I get any better. Oh, 
Okay, 459,000 in the end. So I definitely recommend unlocking this car like every car that comes out. They're very easy to get. This took literally like seven to eight minutes to unlock. So very, very quick. Uh, I definitely recommend using the car that I use with the tune as well. Uh, very easy and very quick off the line. So you can't really go wrong. If you haven't already done so, please consider dropping a subscription down below and a like rating if you enjoyed. And I shall catch you guys in my next video. Adios.